Okay, hi there everyone. Let's get into today's video. As the title suggests, I've been seeing this couple of videos on YouTube. Recently, Jarvis Johnson went through his computer science degree in 12 minutes. So hopefully I can do this in less. I didn't do computer science, but I did computer engineering. Detail was a bachelor of engineering in computer and electronic engineering. How I got into it is I wanted to do something with computer engineering, but I wanted to do something with it. Uh, so I was debated between a couple of universities and some just offered the computer engineering separately, some electronic engineering separately. I didn't want to do electrical engineering, so it was between those two. And with this university that I went to, which was Northwest University, yes, so I did that with a four-year degree. I was excited to start. So let's just get right into it. First year, the first one was computer engineering. Kind of getting into introduction of what this whole thing is going to be about. So that was learning about AND gates, OR gates, XOR gates, all those ones and zeros, just getting, getting a proper introduction to that. Here it was a year module. So you did it from first semester and also second semester where you get into a group and decide okay this is a project that we're working on and then you present it at the end of the year we're supposed to make a system for the spca immediately the cat gets into the cage the thing automatically locks mechanics oscillations wave and theory of heat as you can see or as you can tell that is physics that was fun i did enjoy physics quite a lot then engineering graphics we learned those drawings where you also put the material into that software and then programming for engineers that's the introduction to programming we use c plus plus and then introductory algebra and analysis now that was maths we got your differential equations now that second part of computer engineering that's when we actually got to work with a couple of physical hardware and with that we also did some assembler language programming in that then of course the continuation of the field module the professional practice module then uh, another physics this was electricity magnetism optics atomic and nuclear physics material science you got to learn about materials used in engineering use what different materials contain what makes them better to use for this or that why would you choose a certain material over the other so in engineering this whole degree you do a lot of maths so with this second part of maths which is introductory algebra and analysis too uh, that's where you get into the theorems uh, rules the different l'hopital's rule the different rules that there's just so many that you have to cram and get into your head for the exam. Now my second year, this is when we got an introduction. As you can see, the first module is going to AC and DC networks just to learn how that works. Professional practice, that was the second part of the first one that I told you about. So electricity and magnetism, that's more physics than dynamics. Dynamics was more of you kind of understand how like bridges are built because if a bridge goes like this you understand that this support system has to be you don't just put two poles otherwise everything's going to collapse you have to know what angles to place additional support structures in the middle like that the differential equations and numerical methods you can say that's a bit of maths as well analysis that's more maths linear algebra that's more maths they do a lot of derivatives and linear algebra one this was more of uh, matrices eigenvalues linear equations as well all that kind of stuff and that continued into linear algebra two that was the second part of the semester understanding the technical technological world now this was the first kind of reading <laughs> where you like case studies actual practice now this happened in the holiday like a week after your holiday you're all supposed to go for this hands-on like uh, metal work kind of thing where you build everyone builds something that was a drug i couldn't wait for it to be done going back to second semester the electrical system now, now this was the more electrical kind of ish engineering portion of the degree we did a lot of things like single and three phase power systems signal theory now that i really enjoyed signal theory oh my goodness that was i found that fun i did quite well in that some of the things you do from Fourier transforms. You also learn continuous time, discrete time, everything that deals with the flow of signals. Signals is not just 
sound there's also video electronics we got into learning what is this electronics thing that that is pretty much half of my degree linear systems now that you get deeper into the ac circuits numerical analysis is more rules that you had to come into your head more polynomials all that was in that course analysis a continuation of the analysis course from earlier third semester let me try to get through this a lot faster Electrical system, now this we made transformers, you've got to like really delve into things like transformers, how they work and we actually made a mini transformer. Signal theory that continues from signal theory from uh, the previous year, electromagnetics, that's physics, engineering programming, now then we got deeper into object oriented programming and at the end of it we had to make a game and it was a multiplayer game shooting game and you shoot you try to shoot your opponent they try to shoot you engineering statistics now that's when we got into the probabilities variances and standard deviations all the electronics continuation of electronics from the previous year now this we do a lot of npn pn P, I think if I got that correct, you learn about hit sinks, uh, all the kind of electronics that you see maybe in your computer capacitors, you get to actually do stuff. Actually, uh, the projects that we did, they were quite interesting. We did like a, an amplifier, uh, I think I posted a video of that. We did motor system, just like getting the motors to run. Computer engineering, now this was now here we got heavy into intel processes microprocessors getting to learn how they work like drilling drilling deep into that Our computer engineering design that we actually worked in groups and at the end of the whole thing we made a sumo robot that was a car that you control on your phone you tell it to turn left turn right and you tell it to move you can also put an automatic whereby it's supposed to sense like there's an obstruction and maybe turn left or turn right and technology and society that was more reading stuff and to learn how what you do affects the environment what the purpose is behind creating stuff innovating so you don't innovate carelessly uh, electronics more electronics as i mentioned earlier this is when we got into amplifiers qam that's all modulation techniques that was heavy in this course uh, signal theory now this was a heavy heater after you've learned the Fourier transforms from the first signal theory and then at the end of it you're supposed to do a personal project you do a lot of transforms in engineering which is a goes me to my next one control theory you do a lot z transforms t transforms so open loop and closed loop system computer engineering that was the last computer engineering where you learn about transmission media modulation you get into that gsm all this lte networks this was heavy into networks today programming now this was more database this was actually all about databases so at the end of the thing it presented my sql database that returns this thing and then selects from a group of data then project the final year project because final project you do it from the beginning of the year till the end of the year now me i did continuous speech recognition project because i enjoyed the signal processing classes as i mentioned earlier speaking to it it turns what you've said into text and if you type it it should be able to say those words introduction to project management as a title of projects this was just get into project management telecommunication systems more of the telecommunication engineering side of things we learn about cellular systems radio systems how all that really works software engineering this was the last one there you go to learn about software engineering principle that was the sdlc process where you get requirements and you analyze those requirements then you design then you develop then you test and at the end of it we did a class project where we created a restaurant reservation booking app desktop uh, application we had to do it as a class so we had to assign who's doing what uh, i think we're about 25 in that class the project presented that and vacation training that you do on your own you find someone to intern with you actually do it in the third term third year holiday wherever you did your vacation art training at they write a review for you and then you pass the subject and then that is it then i got the degree i passed yay <laughs> finally 
this was my degree. Yay! Computer engineering is very, you do a, lot, a bit of programming and you also do hardware. It's like a fusion of uh, the software that you make and then the hardware. If you have any comments or video ideas that you want me to make, leave that in the description down below. I'll get to it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe for more videos. I upload every Tuesday. This was just a momentary uh, Thursday upload, but yes, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And peace.